Hey guys, this is Epson Workforce Pro WF3820 DW. This printer is multifunctional printer, it's multi-tax, four in one. In the sense you can copy, scan, print, and fast with this printer. This printer is for businesses. Now, what I want to do is to show you how to replace or how to install the ink. This printer uses ink cartridges 405 or 405 extra large. And four ink cartridges are included in the packaging. So to set this printer up, just need to plug the power cable. Plug it onto the socket. Now bring out the front panel. So you switch this printer on and off from here. And you wait, showing us now Epson. Okay, you select your language, English. The next thing you need to do, you need to select your country, United Kingdom. Then the next is daylight saving time is off or on. Switch it on, date format. So you put the date. So it depends on particular format you want. So it can start from here. And once you put the date and select OK. Now you select the time. 24 hours or 12 hours then you select the time if you select 24 hours then you need to select the time and select ok initialization start install in cartridges for setup that came with this printer so this is the first information you will see you open up the printer and wait for the encoder to position here we go you can see the encoder is positioned itself you can see that there's a sticker here on top, black, which is BK, is black, cyan, which is blue, magenta, red, and yellow. So you just need to install the ink accordingly. And we start with You start with black. Now pull off this air vent. You go in to black. Push it down. So you need to make sure this chip goes to the this end. You do the same thing to cyan. Push it down. The next is magenta. Pull out the air vent. Go in to magenta. Push down. The last but not the least is yellow. Pull out the air vent, then go in, push it down. Now the next thing to do is gently close the cover and wait. Now it's processing. Initialization, please wait. There is a line here that needs to go to the end, so this will take about five minutes.
Initialization complete. Select OK. Select paper size and type of paper source. Select OK. Paper size A4 paper and paper type is plain paper. Okay, and select and it's showing us casket. Okay, so select OK. Now, to start fax setting wizard, you can do this later on. Okay, fax is not set. Remind me later. No. Okay, so this printer now is pretty much ready. Okay, now the other thing I want to show you is if you want to replace the ink, you can just go on top of the screen and select the ink image, then select replace ink and select next and open up. Once you open it up, the ink holder will move so that you can remove the ink. So if you want to remove the ink, you just need to take the black off. Okay, and if you look on the screen, it will show you measurements are empty okay so this is easy way to do this and if after you're done you just need to put them back push down push down this is the blue color cyan and black okay and close it and if you look on the screen we'll show you so this is how to install the ink and also replace the ink thank you very much and stay blessed thank you